Hello there, everybody. What is up? This is Reese or Brush It Cub, and welcome back to our Tech It Let's Play adventure. Here we are. We are in the secret underground laboratory where all the cool, fun stuff happens. And as you can see, we have a wall of chests. I don't know if you guys noticed this. I never noticed this. But these alchemical chests, they actually have an EMC value, which means if you take one and you throw it into the uh, into the transmutation tablet with our Klein Star, you can make a whole bunch of them, which is exactly what I did here. I, I created another little level down here. I cre oh gosh, the undead are walking around in the uh, the secret laboratory tunnels. That's fine. I'm not gonna worry about them. We've got the uh, the almost all powerful nano suit on, so we won't worry about that. Anyway, made a whole bunch of these chests. Super fast, super easy. As you can see, they've been labeled, and they have stuff in them. What? Yes, they're not organized. They're now they're sorted. Yeah, we got ores. We've got dust. We've got bars. We've got. We got just everything your little heart can imagine and desire already sorted because guess what? Oh gosh, um, I should deal with this. Let's see, what what do I what do I use? I I don't want to use this thing. This thing is destructive. That's fine. You know what? I also moved the tools in here, so we also have our sword, our nano saber, which is a bit buggy. Definitely need to replace that soon. I know I've said that in like the last few episodes, but I mean it this time. Ah, there we go. Takes care of that guy. Alright, anyway, what was I saying? Right, uh, we built the sorting machine, and it's built, and uh, as you can see, I've been doing a lot of work down here. I expanded this platform a bit and moved our blue electric alloy furnaces up here, so they're they're here, they're charged. And, uh, well, heck, let's, let's go ahead and show that. Let's go ahead and show the power system that I worked on before it gets dark. Bum bum! Tower of Power 2.0. I, I added a few more solar panels, just a few. Took the ones that were over there, moved them over here. Got a bat box in there. Don't know if you can see that right there. Full on power, baby. And this runs straight into the ground. And I guess I'll go inside and show you where it's running. That'll be fun. And uh, that that was actually, I was kind of worried about how I was going to get power in there. But that was actually kind of the easy part of this whole deal. Uh, made these couple new passageways. Now, if you remember, before I go back there, we made a second um, quarry. And so we have a second giant hole similar to this first one here. So I kind of tapped into that, sort of walled it off, and I built this massive mess of amazingness. So this is where the power runs down from the Tower of Power right here. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Hello there, sir. Um, let's not worry about that guy. Anyway, I, I don't... Well, I guess he could fall down here. I didn't actually... Yeah, we should... Oh, gosh! Um... You know what? They weren't really messing with us. I say let's not mess with them either. So the uh, the power comes down and it kind of splits off. Half of it goes around up here into the uh, the blue electric furnaces. The other half kind of comes down here. Some then goes out down there and goes under the floor and connects over here. And it's just oh, this is amazing. It's also really complicated, but it was it was pretty simple once you know what you're doing. So let me show you how it all starts. It all begins when you throw something into the sorter, the sorting box, I should say, the drop box right here. This is the drop box. Let me see if I have anything I can throw in there. Yeah, I've got some... Yeah, that'll get back to work. So you put stuff in the drop box, right like this. You know, just fill it up with some tin dust. And I'm doing it like this because it'll take out either individual pieces, if you put in individual pieces, but if I put in a whole stack, it'll take the whole stack. Turn it on, and let me show you what happens behind the scenes. Now, we learned how all this works in the last couple episodes. We've, we've been looking into sorting machines and how they work. So as you see, it, throwing that switch will activate a redstone current, which will activate the sorting machine, which will pull out items. They'll go down here, and because they're not sorted in this one, as you can see, dusts aren't sorted in here. They're sent through the black pipe down to the second sorting machine, where they are sorted into the dust chest, which is orange, as you can see right here. Any other items that aren't sorted in this box will go through black again. I said I, You can set it to whatever color you want. I just set it to black. And they'll go into this one where they will either be sorted or put into the dump chest. And there's actually quite a bit in our in our random dump chest that haven't been sorted yet. Maybe not in that one, but in or that one for that matter. But in that one for sure, and in this one, full of stuff that I've yet to sort, that I need to sort, I just haven't done it yet. Sticks should be sorted actually into the wooden stuff. So let me do that real fast. Wooden stuff here, uh, just drop a stick in, and then we'll go put it in the sorting are the drop box and you guys can see how that works again but yeah so this was actually pretty easy to set up you know after doing those last couple episodes where we looked into how the paintbrushes work and how all the sorting machine stuff works 
What I really like about it is that it can be turned on or off with just that one switch up there. Now, I have noticed on the server it's a little buggy. It, I mean, it works 100% of the time, but sometimes, like right now, you can't actually see the stuff being pulled out. If I go in there and try to take it out, though, in about two minutes, it'll leave my inventory and magically be in that box over there. I don't know how that works, but... Uh, hey, look, there's the sticks. Fantastic. So they're moving along quite nicely. As you can see, they just... They bypassed all this other machinery. Never saw any of that happen, but it, it went over here for some reason. Now, one thing I do want to mention is sometimes I noticed when, when sorting stuff, when I didn't have these chests here, it would go to the machine and then the machine would get backed up and would just send it back to the dump chest. So I considered building buffers, but I decided, you know what, I already have some leftover chests, I'll just use that. So yes, you can use chests, items will get dumped into the chest here, at, uh, you know, when they're waiting to be sorted. So that's great, everything works. It can all be turned off with a single switch. It can all be powered with those, those uh, few things that we built up there. I can't even remember what they're called, solar panels. It's great, it's great. If you're looking at this and you don't know what any of it is, you can go back and watch the last couple of episodes of uh, Tech It With Reese. I kind of explain what the sorting machines do, how they work, how the pipes work. I was going to film me building this entire thing, but it just took so long, I decided, you know what, I'm not, I'm not going to do that on camera. It literally took me two hours to set this up. And I was like, that's going to be one heck of a long episode. I, I don't think anybody's going to sit through that whole thing. So I just, I didn't record it. But here it is. I still got some more to do. I might expand it a little bit further out, but I'm happy with it. It works great. Everything gets sorted. And now that it's easy, I mean, it's so much easier to get to stuff. Because beforehand, you guys know, I had to fly all the way back to the house to, to get stuff. People were telling me to build teleporters, which means I would have had to run power all the way back to the house. And ah, uh-uh. This was just much, much easier just moving everything over here. Now I have it all over here next to my workstation. I can just, I can work here, and when I need something, I can just fly down here and grab it. Ah, it's going to be so convenient, and it'll make the next thing that we're going to be building so much simpler. Uh, you guys have been asking for it, so we're finally going to get around to doing it. I know how much you want it, so we're going to finally be getting rid of nano armor and moving up to quantum armor. That's going to be the next episode. We're going to start working with you matter and scrap, and then we'll, we'll make our quantum armor, and uh, we'll move on to red matter stuff after that, I think. Uh, but yeah, so that's all I got to show you in this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, I will see you. Let me turn off the machine. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.